This is water. You think it's boring, don't you? Tap water, hot water, cold water. But it doesn't always behave like you think. This is Alok Jha. Oh, that's pretty good. He's obsessed with water. Should we try the other one? This really shouldn't work. But it does. It refuses to follow the normal rules of chemistry. If it did, none of us would be here. Ice floats on water. That shouldn't happen. We're so brainwashed into seeing that as normal that we don't realise how weird that actually is. Water loves to stick to itself. It can store a lot of heat. All of that together means something profound. That meant that life could start and evolve on Earth. Water is fundamental. In our bodies, proteins, DNA, amino acids, glucose, all of these things only work when they're dissolved in water. Water shapes coastlines. It carved the Grand Canyon. It's constantly melting, freezing and evaporating, carrying energy around our planet. It's what we know of as weather. Its pH is neutral, but it's not a neutral substance. Whoa! Hang on a second. Alok went to the end of the Earth to get under the surface of water. I told you, he's obsessed. In places like Antarctica, the water is in control of us. It wasn't a hospitable place. It's hard to imagine that life would survive there, but it does. Life has evolved on Earth to fill every available niche. As long as there's water, there's life. The fact that life can survive in such extreme situations gives us hope that life might survive elsewhere in the universe too. All of human civilization is, in some sense, a struggle for the control of water. Only we can truly appreciate the chemical, the social and the cosmic importance of this substance. The Water Book by Alok Jha. The extraordinary story of our most ordinary substance. <laughs>